just a number of things that you could do to start your business off on the right foot. And there are three that I want to share with you today. And that includes having a vision about your business, setting smart goals, and ultimately knowing your why. So what does it mean to have vision? It means that that you might have an idea and you might have an, a desire and an inkling to start an online business. But where do you want it to go? Where do you want to be at the point where you decide or you determine that your business is successful? What do you look like today in your business and what does it look like in six months or one year from now? The questions you're gonna ask yourself on your vision statement that you're gonna make for yourself is, who are you? What is it about you that are, that's gonna be imparted into your business, have the integrity or the characteristics of you that permeates through your business so that it's very genuine. But your vision is, again, to understand what does it look like? Who, what do you look like in your business? Who are you helping in your business? That's gonna be critical and key that we'll go over more of later. But who are you helping in your business? What problems are you solving for that person or those people? And ultimately, how much money are you making in your business? And it's okay to, to visualize this and to envision this person because you, you're motivated by helping people possibly, but making money, right? Making extra money from what you're doing today. And then for me to exceed that amount, maybe for my nine to five, and to have this kind of business full time. Then again, visualizing and envisioning things about your business is to also take it to 12, the 12 month mark and ask those same questions. What does your business look like? What do you look like as the entrepreneur and the owner? Who are you helping with your business? And that could change over the six months. Um, what problems are you solving? And again, that could change as well. How much money are you making by then? And this is an important exercise for us to take a minute here and pause. I'm gonna upload a PDF that you complete to just sort of start to put to paper answers to the questions we just reviewed. That is how you set up, understand your vision, and that's how ultimately you set up your vision statement for your business. The next thing you wanna think about when developing your online business are goals. Right? Goals are things that you're going to take the vision that you just created in the other exercise and put them to actionable steps. So a vision is nothing but a dream or a daydream or an idea until you put actionable steps to it. And to do that, you can start by creating SMART goals. Now, SMART goals, if you haven't heard of that before, it stands, you know, it's spelled out S-M-A-R-T, but the S stands for specific. Goals that you write down have to be specific. So you stay focused on what you actually want to accomplish. And these goals you can set at various phases along the way of your business. So a goal that is just any old goal without specifics is something like I'm gonna make money. So I'm gonna make this business and then I'm gonna make money. But a specific goal is, or a SMART goal, but a specific part of the SMART goal says, I am specifically going to make $500 yeah, for my online business. Now, the M stands for measurable. Now, measurable means you can actually determine how you, where you were at the beginning of this goal and where you are at the end, and you can tell that you achieved it. So measurable is to say, I'm going to earn $500. You can measure whether you've earned the $500 in in that time or not the a stands for achievable so achievable right it's something that sort of aligns with where you are in the process right you're an entrepreneur at the start of beginning your business but you are not a mature entrepreneur at the beginning right so your goals have to match sort of where you are in the learning phase and in the mastery of things you've learned with the business and achievable would mean that it's well aligned with where you are. So I could say that I wanna earn $5 million and I can be on the first week of beginning my business. Now, I don't think that's a very achievable goal for this phase in time that you're in your business. Something more achievable at the beginning would be something doable. 
like I'll earn $50 with my affiliate marketing business, or I'll earn $500 within a period of time with my affiliate marketing business or my online business. Now R stands for realistic. And again, it has to pertain to your business. So earning money or achieving a certain task, it's realistic within the type of business. And realistic could mean that the goal is something you can achieve. And the T in SMART goal stands for time. So not only is it measurable, achievable, realistic, specific, it has to have a time attached to the goal. So as we started here, we were saying that I'm going to earn $500 from my affiliate marketing business within 90 days. So not only is the goal measurable because you can determine whether you've earned that much money or not, it's achievable because it's sort of um, aligned to where you are in your business and it's timely because you're setting a specific time period, 90 days, and you'll be able to determine at the end of 90 days if you reach that goal. That's a SMART goal. We'll set up these SMART goals for ourselves in this exercise. I've attached the PDF for you to follow. Now, the last part of this short little presentation is about knowing your why. Now, we talked about having a vision, setting SMART goals or actionable steps towards your vision, and ultimately knowing your why. And the why comes from really the emotional state that you're thinking about your business. It's going to determine how you overcome the many challenges and setbacks that come with starting an online business. And you can refer back to this why, a very simple statement or a few statements that tell you your purpose about starting an online business, uh, what you're going to refer back to when times get tough, because it's going to remind you exactly why you're doing this. Now, everyone's why could be a little different. For some people, it might be, I'm doing this because I want financial freedom and ultimately I want to be the provider for my family and ultimately I want to show my children how to run an online business, right? There's other whys, right? I want to free up my time so that I can travel, so that I can see the world and enrich my life that way. In the end, your why is specific to you. It's an individual thing. And it's got to be a statement or a few statements that you can say succinctly, why are you doing what you're doing? If you can convey that message within your business, then customers who are interested in the product or service that you're selling will also be interested because your why is so powerful to them and intriguing and enriching for them too. And it appeals to them, it's compelling, and they want to get that product because maybe they have the same why that you do. I just reviewed a few things um, that I feel you should start at the beginning of your journey in starting your online business. And that includes having a vision, you know, being very clear about that. Number two is creating SMART goals. Those are actionable steps that take your vision into practicality or practical tasks that you go one by one and you complete, get the business going. And then number three is knowing your why. Knowing why we do what we do is not only something very intrinsic in yourself, a very personal and emotional reason, but it's also something if you can convey through to your customers or potential customers is another reason why they buy from you. And this is just a wrap up of a couple of first steps. Thanks for watching. I'm Eli Mahong with Passive Income and an online business. My Facebook group is Essential Digital Biz with Eli Mahong. And if you plug into that group there, find us, then we can go over more of this information. I'll show you in that group how to put all these pieces together, take your online business wherever it is at the moment and scale it and have it become successful with fast results and in a learning supportive community.